Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. This is a let's talk about tournaments, runes, four dot runes, the purple ones, and roster expansion. Yesterday I released a video saying, hey, I needed some guidance from you guys. Click in the, look in the top right hand corner of the video. There'll be a card up there. Click that video, go over to that video. Drop a comment about some of the things you'd like to see. I got some great ideas already. And this video comes directly from that video. We're going to be talking once again on about roster expansion, tournaments, and the runes. First, I want to talk about tournaments. Tournaments are my favorite part of the game. I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, I really like this. Now, tournaments, of course, incentivize people to spend money in the game. You've got to be competitive. You need an expanded roster, right? You have to have you have to have certain characters to participate. So right now we're currently in the test account. Um, let's take a look at what benefits tournaments have, right? Um, and that sort of thing. Obviously, we have a new tournament shop. All right. Currently a new tournament shop that's come in. Uh, we have great stuff that you can buy in the tournament shop. You can get Bori shards out of here. You can get uh, raid gear. You can get gear eight and gear nine gear that you can also bump up. All right. Uh, these, are, these vanity essences, right? All some really cool stuff. And you can also get, you know, up to 500 uh, K gold as well. You can get wonder Lula shards. See these, Ocker's eyes, right? Dragon veils, really, really. I mean, a lot of really good high end stuff in the tournaments. Uh, but you have to use your tournament currency. Uh, and you, the only way to get tur tournament currency is to be in the tournaments. You can get tournament currency in two different ways, right? You can either get it as your rewards, right? For uh, winning, all right? Being one to third, all right? Or anywhere in here, right? In this particular tournament, you can get. Guaranteed at least 300, uh, depending on where you fall in the ranking system. Uh, you're, you can get all the way up to 800 if you're all the way there. Uh, that's really, really good. But you can't, it, it's capped, and it's capped for a reason because some of this stuff is just really, really good. Uh, really good gear and you can get it in the raids and you can get it here. It gives you multiple places to get the information or to get the gear. Um, but it's got to be capped and it's got to be capped because you can't just get everything in these games. If you can get everything with money, people would stop playing. Um, if you could, if you get everything right away, then that means the developers have to make even more content, which can be very hard to do um, and stressful for them. And so we got to be able to have the game have some longevity. And so I think that, you know, having tournaments is a good way to do that. It incentivizes people to spend money so the developers can make money. Uh, but it also, it also gives us new content, gives us new things to get, and doesn't have these big gear gaps or gear crunches or rune crunches, which is what I'd like to talk about next. So they're, they've released these runes, three dot rune purples and four dot rune purples inside these health boxes, right? That's, that's really good. At my level, at level 80, if you're looking at uh, me, I'm in the level 80 to 80, uh, 75 bracket, right? I'm currently ranked 16th uh, in the tournament. I just entered the tournament today, which I think was a mistake. As you can see, by the time I entered, we had people who were already getting, had a lot of score and a lot of, a lot of wins and some losses, but their scores are huge. So trying to get into the top three is going to be very difficult. Getting into the top 10 might even be difficult considering I got a late start and getting wins, wins now matter more than ever because you get a lot more for winning than you do for losing. It used to be virtually this similar 20 for wins, 18 for losing, right? Now it's 20 to win and 12 to lose. So you're incentivized to play more matches to win more games, right? Somebody here with a 22 and, you know, and 24, he's got 176 points last tournament he would not have this many points right he's being incentivized to play he's being incentivized to continue to play and that's a good thing i think that change is very very good and so 
I think that when these tournaments start, wherever you're at, jump right on in, start trying to get as many wins as possible. Yes, you're going to lose. Yes, people may be able to go after you um, and that sort of thing. But the more you're winning, right, the more you're winning, the more you're going to be able to maintain a score that's respectable. It's not going to shove you down. If you're looking here, right, negative 73 you know, is one for eight. I mean, that's just kind of the way it gets. And there's people still haven't entered i know i made that mistake so don't make that mistake going forward get into these tournaments right away uh when we're talking about the runes i think it's way too early uh for three three dot runes and purple runes we nobody has good a sufficient amount of blue runes let alone purples and now we're talking about going into um four dot blue runes and four dot green runes when but they are being released in the tournaments, and that means that there's there's a bottleneck, and that means they're not going to flood the market, and it's not going to change the game huge. And so I'm very happy with the fact that in tournaments, if they're going to do it anyway, tournament would be the way to go. My suggestion is if they're going to do runes, maybe just make it a separate part of the game. Um, go in, you know, got Galaxy Heroes has, you know, had a mod room, you know, an entire energy devoted to mods and that sort of stuff. You have mods and mod energy and other things that you have to do for mods maybe put it in a completely separate area so we're not having to use our own energy that's currently what they've done with tournaments they put it in here they've they're incentivizing you to expand your roster they're incentivizing you to spend money in the game um, and they're incentivizing you to be competitive which i think are all good things um, and so I, I that's that's very very good and so that's i i like that and they're not going to flood the market which is really 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 good i think so let's talk about that though you need to have in tournaments you got to have an expanded roster you just have to there's without an expanded roster you can't compete so for example the tournament that's going on right now you had to have salvador right salvador is the is the character that is required um in the tournament so if we look at we look at the it says salvador is required two pride two gladiator now, if we go in, I can't go in right now, but the team that I currently took in here, I, there's nobody to battle right in, in this one. Right? I took in Salvador, I have Revel and then two Gladiators, I took Ember, and then of course Nidiel and Solius, because uh, they're just amazing. And so I have those characters up and ready to go and prepared, and I'm doing okay in the tournament, as you guys could see. Um, but I joined late and I could have probably picked up more wins. Um, I could have picked up more wins. And so how do we expand our roster, right? Well, the easiest way, of course, is to spend money in the game. Um, the easiest way is to go over to the shop, pull out your wallet, right? Go to the bank and pick up this card or drag coins, right? If you're new to the game, and you've never done this, you get double, right? You buy, you buy all. The card of drag coins you get double the amount and then you go into you know you go into the chest and you start opening premium chests so i'm going to pull up the uh, test account and go right in and start doing that and let me explain why this is so much better uh, to do if you're looking at the chest accounts you get 10 premium chests with 10 percent discount and you get you guaranteed 50 plus hero stones in a chest right i can tell you that i pulled plenty of these all right you get 50 here, right? You guaranteed that, and you're going to get another 50. And there's times where you get 80, right? And if you're looking to pull characters, this is definitely way to do it if you're in the beginning of the game, right? If you're, you know, another 80 here for Major Shot and 30 for Revel, right? You're getting character shards of characters that you that you need. Now, of course, it's it's gambling, right? You're, you're not going to get exactly what you want, but you can understand that, you know, Major Shot's not a great character in the game. He's got some really cool stuff that he can do, but he's not particularly viable right now. But if you're buying these things, see, another 50 here. I mean, this will give you a lot of characters really fast caution you though i'm going to caution you right now if you do this like i did and um i know a lot of people have you end up within a pretty expanded roster let's look at my roster all right my my roster on my main account i have just about every character in the game besides the two newest the three newest ones unlocked 
Um, in fact, I have them all except for those, except for Shadar. Um, but as you can see, we're working on getting Shadar unlocked as of right now, right? All right, Diesel Rog, all right? I'm just just kind of take a look and we'll go over it, all right? Just kind of scrolling through, all right? If you look at my my arena team, level 80, level 80, level 80, level 80, and cruel, level 80, all right? All gear 10, all right? All gear 10. We start going through Ember. She's great. I want to get her leveled up. I still don't have Cruel all the way up to seven stars, so I'm farming her. She's only got one node. It, it's a little tough uh, to get her up, but you know we're just plugging away. Um, Ember's great. I'd like to have more gear for her. Wonder Lula, I'm working on getting her to seven stars. She's still really good um, despite her nerf. Um, you know, despite her correction, she's still really good. Um, and, but you know, you gotta, you gotta make decisions. I got lots of seven star characters, lots of seven star characters, but a lot of them like Salvador, seven stars, had him seven stars for a long time, but he's only level 66 and he's only got, I think gear eight or gear seven, right? I, not that he's not a good character. He is, he's a good character, but there were just better characters. And so I'm not using it at the moment. Old lore, same type of thing. Darian's just terrible um, in comparison to other people. Robin the Bad has his uses in the raid, but you, you can go without him. Um, and then you're talking about like the goblins, which I have not put much into because I don't think their faction's particularly good at this moment. Right. But almost, I'm still working on them. Right. I've got major shot almost there. Sergeant Pigwall, I recently was able to get there, but I'm not going to spend the, the coin to level them. Um, you know, to get them to seven stars right now, because my coins, my, my gold is limited. It's just is, it's not, it's not easy to get gold in the game without buying it um and i don't like the chess i think the chests are a bad value um 300 drag coins for 300 drag coins for 150 uh you know for a minimum of 150 uh thousand gold right yes you could get three you know three million sure you could but the odds are that you're not um, in fact, the odds are really bad that you would ever get that 1%, 1 percent, one times one, one percent times one percent times one percent. That'll tell you how how it's really the odds are awful. Um, and so I, I, I don't like that. Uh, you know, uh, that sort of thing. I do tend to when they when they do offer gold, I do tend to buy that. I think that's a decent value, but I don't. But I don't like the I don't like the chess. And so you're just going to have to make decisions. And that's why we're that's why we're here. That's why us content creators are here is to try to give you the best guidance that we can on that. Um, I think that I think that we we're, we're trying to do our best. The game is ever changing. And so things that we put out today, um, you know, a week from now may not be may not be good anymore unfortunately but that may be true um as you guys saw we put out i put out a video recently how you could solo hard work in the raid uh the developers have made it very clear that they don't want that to happen and so i'm telling you everyone all right don't invest in trying to solo the raid it's not worth your time you're gonna level up bad characters right like robin the bad he's just an awful character for the one for the purpose of soloing a raid that may not the developers may just put a quash to and now you've wasted resources on a character that just isn't very good for only one purpose when you should be doing stuff like you know leveling up your orcs to get soleus because soleus is amazing um and then you know leveling up your elves as well so you can get Am ember because ember is amazing and then, right, Cruel, Cruel is really good. Wonder Lula is really good. Hard Orc, right? You want to get Hard Orc first. If you're going to farm anybody out of the thing, you farm Hard Orc first and then Wonder Lula um, for now. But I'm worried about Hard Orc's viability in the raid. He's really good. He's really good in the raid. Um, but you now with the new tenacity, with the new tenacity and potency issues, uh, the new tenacity on the bosses, I don't know how good he's going to be. Um, and so, 
those are all things to be concerned about. The game is ever changing. The game state of the game, as I said a few days ago, is really, really good. We did have a days problem that got fixed. Um, that happened this morning. Uh, we got some rewards. Thank you so much for that, the developers. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, and they're working hard. And I know we're all working hard to try to do the best we can be doing. Once again, thank you so much for being here. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. Uh, go ahead and click the link in the top right hand corner. I'll put it up one more time. There's a video for suggestions for videos. If you would like to, if you want to see something, if there's something you want me to cover, put a, go to that video, drop a, drop a comment on there about what you want to see and. It may end up being a video, uh, and so that I hope I combined several of the ideas that I got yesterday into one video. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Have a happy holidays, and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.